Hey, Scott Jordan with CRCS Outdoors. Welcome to season 10. Welcome to CRCS Outdoors, making a difference one young hunter at a time. Join us today as Carrie and Justin Hines and Rachel Durbin look for their first buck of the year. I'm Carrie Hines. We just got done sighting our guns in and doing a little practice shooting since I'm going out for the first time ever. Scott walked me through all the steps, so hopefully we will see some bucks today. We've seen some out there, but um, we haven't been able to shoot anything yet. So we will see what happens today. I'm hoping for a big buck. I'm getting a little uh, tired of sitting out there. So fingers crossed, today's the day. Awesome. And Rachel, give me your story. You said you haven't shot a buck since you were 11? Um, no, about 11 years ago. So, well, I guess, yeah, probably was 11 in seventh, eighth grade. Um, haven't been out hunting due to playing college basketball and then coaching college basketball, so I'm really excited to get back out and get back into the swing of things. Awesome. Well, we'll get started, and good luck, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Today's the day I can feel it. You can feel it. Well, <laughs> what'd you say? It doesn't really matter what we get. You, what, what do we, what's... I, I am here for the meat because in the past, my husband refuses to shoot anything unless it's big enough for, you know, the wall and everything. So I had to get my license this year so I could get my own meat so I didn't have to rely on him because I need hot dogs and I need pepper sticks. <laughs> nice. All right. And here we go. Today we're filming from both stands. The girls and I are in that middle stand and Justin is over here in Outfitter's Choice. Rachel doesn't have a lot of time. So this buck was a little gimpy, and we decided it was better that we ate him instead of the coyotes. So, game on. The RCS Outdoors is brought to you by K-Bar. Hardcore knives, hardcore lives. Go to kbar.com. One buck down, but the deer have come back into the field. So, carries up. Lucky for us. 
Gary was having trouble with the safety. Right here, girl. Oh, good shot. Look at that shot. She was so worried that she hit him. Look at that. Pick that couldn't have... Hold this. Hold this <laughs> Pick that bad boy up. So I want. I so want to see him. Oh my oh. goodness! Look how wide he is. That is awesome. <laughs> I did, look at I shot him like right there. How, that's a perfect shot, like perfect. I guess I'm an expert now. <laughs> <laughs> and you're using that Savage 7 mm 8 and oh, white and gnarly. Look and how wide that buck is. Look how wide that is. Wow. Well, I guess I did good for my first, first deer ever. <laughs> your first deer, have you shot anything before? No. That's your first thing ever. This is my first thing ever. Wow, there is a lot of people who are going to be annoyed with you right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, don't hate me. <laughs> wow, I am so proud of you. Look at that deer. That is so awesome. Carrie Hines, here we are with you and Justin Hines. Your first stinking animal ever. Yep. I am so proud of you. Probably the fourth time I've ever shot a gun. <laughs> yeah. So, how do you like that 7 mm 8 right? Well, I need one for Christmas now. <laughs> so, hopefully Justin's listening. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's savage right out of the box. So, turn turn him a little for me. Oh, look at that. Look how wide he is. And we've got video from him from before, so this would be magnificent. So, I need to know the story about, like, the doe that almost was. Well, first of all, I skipped out of work early today for a... <coughs> doctor's appointment <laughs> so I, I snuck down to the stand and uh we've been hunting a couple days and i really wasn't too confident in my skills but uh scott said hey let's shoot a doe so i i got all ready and the safety well there's two clicks and i only did one so i almost pulled the trigger and it didn't shoot so <laughs> As soon as I did that, Scott goes, wait a second, there's a buck. Mm -hmm. So I started to panic, and <laughs> that safety actually saved me because I would have shot a doe. This... And not even a minute later, I shot this guy, so... And, and, I, and I want you to know now that I fibbed, that was 179 yards. Because <laughs> you're like, how far is it? And I was like, I'm not telling her. Because <laughs> then you'll go... Oh, I can't shoot that far. That gun yeah. shoots that far. Look at that. That is a beautiful buck. Look how white and gnarly his face is. Like, he looks like a really old dude. I'm going to have to age him and see how old he is. But look around his eyes, and he's kind of pale. But, hey, take your finger and point right to the shot where you were worried about where you hit him. Right there. Right, right, <laughs> right in the boiler maker. I thought for sure I missed him, or that I, after we reviewed the film a little bit, I thought... All right, well, I at least shot him, but I figured I probably just injured him. But, I mean, I don't know how far he went, but he very far not at all. A, about 100 <laughs> yards tops, right? Nope. So, no. Thankful, not, not thanks all. to Scott. He came right down here and found him, helped me find him, and Justin and Rachel. So... Yeah. Well, we hadn't found Justin's buck yet, so people, I don't know if you know this, but this is a three-buck night, yep. and uh, so this is freaking crazy. This is one of the coolest nights ever for hunting for me, and, you know, glad to get to share it with you guys. And uh... CRCS Outdoors is brought to you by Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. Okay. Our knives, hardcore knives, hardcore lives, only in New York, made in the USA.
Nice, buddy. So you're presenting your wife with a brand new knife. Yep. <laughs> Carrie, do you now know what that means? Yes. What? <laughs> it means he's got to gut my beer. Oh, no, no. <laughs> you have to gut your beer. <laughs> That's why he gave you a brand new knife. Nice. <laughs> Take that out, Justin, can you? Yep. So, Carrie, this is a BK-16. It's our new featured knife on the show, and you'll find it's really nice for gutting. <laughs> I guess I'll have to find out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, congratulations, girl. I couldn't be more proud of you. That is, look at his butt. He is a big boy. Mm -hmm. That is a big boy. Give me, give me a little turn now. A little turn. How about the other way? Go that way. Look at that. Wow, he is so wide. Nice. He's heavy. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Antler ice buck urine. Thank you. <laughs> Three buck night, and uh, yeah, brought him right in. Yep. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> and there was other deer, there was other bucks chasing after she shot him and he ran out of the field. There's other bucks that came yep. in. It was crazy. Yep. Three months thing. So what's the story? Well, I guess you can tell him, Justin. <laughs> Why, because it's my fault? Yeah. <laughs> well, and Carrie also shot her first buck while she was three months pregnant. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. Congratulations, you guys. Are you going to know ahead of time or are you not? No, well, I guess we're going to find out when he comes out. <laughs> nice. Nice. Well, congratulations, you two. And Thank you. What a night. I've never... Have we ever shot three bucks in one night? We no, shot three we does. shot three does in one day, but we never shot three bucks in one night. <laughs> My, that is a beautiful buck. I love that buck. Every year. Yep. Can we also point out again, look where I shot him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm zooming in. <laughs> there it is. That's there where I is. shot him. <laughs> but who was doubting thyself in the stand, <laughs> right? Like, well, I don't know if I hit him. Mm. I was so worried I only injured him. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, you but whacked I dropped him. Well, you heavily, heavily <laughs> injured him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the kind of tracking job I like. <laughs> Me too. Me too. I will. I will take it. Rachel, awesome job. Thank you. Thank you. Would you say that was a 300 win mag? 300 win. Yep. Man, that thing just crushed him. Pick that bad boy up. Yeah, nice. Look at that. I'll take it. And that's a, is he a six? Yep, we got a six point here. Cool. And look at that. Like, because of how well they eat here, I want you to know that, you know, he's he's bigger than, like, a lot of huge bucks in other places. Like, that is a big deer. Look yep. at that. I'm excited. I'm really excited. You did a great job. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. And you were, like, hemming and hawing, and then... <laughs> Man, the footage couldn't be any better because it was like, he's at 60 yards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean. So tell me your tell me your story, and you're here working with the Heinzes, so give me a rundown. Yeah, um, I'm originally from Ohio, and I moved up here four years ago to coach women's basketball at uh, Alfred University. Um, haven't been hunting since about seventh grade. I've played college basketball and then went right into coaching, and the season falls right in the middle of hunting season, so... You know, I'm thankful that the Heinzes let me come out with them and get this buck. And no, it's been good. 11 year drought is over. <laughs> yeah. yeah, look at that. And Carrie's whole thing was like hot dogs and what, what are we making? And, and deer sticks. Deer sticks. <laughs> All right. All right. Mine's jerky and steaks. Jerky and steaks. Jerky and steaks. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank yep. You. Hey, Scott Jordan with CRCS Outdoors. Here we are in the wilds of western New York. It's almost the end of regular season. And this young lady, Rachel, got the job done. As I'm sure you saw, she like crushed this thing. It was 60 yards with a 300 wind mag. And to celebrate, uh, I would like to present her with a K-bar knife. Hardcore knives, hardcore lives. No many more hardcore than Rachel. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> At least right now. Right, and this is the BK-16, which is our featured knife on the show. And that bad, bad boy is really sharp. And I'm sure you're gonna put this to good use really soon. Absolutely. <laughs> I could gut a deer, but I can't kill a spider. Closed captioning for CRCS Outdoors is brought to you by the Frontier Financial Group, providing comprehensive financial planning services. Call Tom Stolberg, 585-593-6408. Here we go. Well, we're going to be hunting over a soybean field in the middle of a whole bunch of uh, winter wheat, so 
and seeing some some bucks not as many as we do some years because it's been warmer than it, you know historically has but uh, there's been some activity in the soybeans so we're gonna see what we can do all right good luck buddy all right thank you so earlier in the day my boy Justin went and sat in the Outfitter's Choice, our favorite stand. The girls and I, well, we're over to the left. Our stand, the middle stand, was having plenty of action, as you can see. Justin was starting out with plenty of young bucks, but nothing to shoot at, yet. Then, all of a sudden, one of the shooters on our hit list decided to show up. Game on. Well, we were looking for a blood trail. Hmm. There you go, bud. Oh, nice job, oh, dude. Cow. Well, I know he's one of our oh. shooters, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, we've been seeing a lot of this buck. So who is he? This is the Browless Six, and we were almost right because he's got about a half inch right there. Nice, buddy. That is a big buck. Oh yeah. A big, big body buck. Listen to those yotes. They think they're getting a meal. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to disappoint them. Nice, dude. Very proud of you. Congratulations. What a great buck. Thank you. Justin, buddy, tell me a story. Oh, what a great day. We had uh, three beautiful bucks down one day. I was uh, getting a little, bit of je a little bit jealous. The girls had the better stand choice in the beginning. And, uh, <laughs> Huh. Rachel got her buck and then Carrie got her buck and I'm feeling nice and blue and then right here right at the end of usable light this guy walked out of the woods and gave me just enough of a shot to complete a perfect day awesome bud I'm so proud of you what a great buck Thank he's you. nice and heavy oh yeah uh, might be a four and a half yep. definitely a three and a half yeah yeah he's a give me turns buck that we thought was a browless six but he's really a seven he's got one little brow tine here and the other side smooth and he's nice and heavy nice heavy deer nice tall deer yeah oh, you happy day. great day very, very happy great day yeah so now we got a three gaboda day yeah, right? I know, right we got a lot of work <laughs> left to do and the coyotes think we fed them dinner we got to go we got to go crash their party right great job bud i'm Thank so you. proud of you carrie yeah. I think we were talking a little smack earlier. What's the story? <laughs> well, my buck, I definitely had a better shot. Doubt it. <laughs> and my buck is bigger, so I definitely won tonight. <laughs> but, I out, but I took out the heart, and my buck is taller. <laughs> well, her buck is wider. And mine didn't, didn't run as far either, which means I dropped him good. I dropped him quick. <laughs> Andy's an eight point, so Justin, That's you got right. you that, that, Okay, I'll concede that one. Hers is an eight, mine's a seven. Awesome. Congratulations, you two. Thank you. Three buck night. Oh, beautiful. It used to be called three dog night, but you guys are too too young to remember that stuff. So, all right. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, Carrie, it's another opportunity here, Sunshine. What do you got to say? Well, if I just want you guys to compare them real quick. And you see my husband down there. You see mine down here. And clearly, I'm the winner tonight. And I'd like to point out again that it's my first buck ever, first animal ever. So I definitely beat him tonight. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> this is our date night, first night out since uh, uh, three years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> three and a half years ago. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, and then there were kids. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. What do you gotta say, Henry? Hi. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> wow. So here's the future of CRCS Outdoors. <laughs> Are you guys ready to go hunting? Yeah? You Can like I big deer, hunting? don't you? What does Daddy do? 
You like big deer? Don't you like big deer? Teddy, who big shot that big buck? Who shot the big buck? Your mom do it? <laughs> he usually oh. says daddy. Right here. Are you a hunter? You can see a deer. I can see a deer. You can see a deer? Are we going to shoot a deer? Yeah. Deer. Get him. Can you go get him? Yeah. Yeah. Tackle him. Look at you go. Henry, get your brother. What's he doing? You gonna go in there and help him look for the deer? Where's the deer? Watching. CRCS. CRCS. Outdoors. Outdoors. Woohoo! Uh, Good job, buddy. I'm a future hunter. Yes, you are. There's the future. CRCS Outdoors right there. Yeah. Proud Papa. <laughs> And he's already tracking the deer. That's right. Where did the deer go? That's where <laughs> You tracking him? Right to the Kubota. <laughs> Good job. CRCS Outdoors is brought to you by K-Bar. Go to kbar.com. And Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter. And the Outdoors Tomorrow Foundation. Contact Mr. Scott McClure. To follow CRCS Outdoors, join us on Facebook, Twitter, and now Instagram. Thanks for watching this week's show. Join us next week on CRCS Outdoors.